Hello YouTube, I'm here to tell you today how to build yourself a great World of Tanks computer. This is specifically for World of Tanks. I know a lot of people out there play the game and uh, this is for a computer that will play World of Tanks excellently on ultra high settings and keep the budget down, hopefully under $500. And a lot of it's going to be Frankensteining together parts that you have. A lot of people have an old desktop laying around like this Lenovo. Uh, and for the most part, the uh, components inside are not reusable. But the fact that you then have a case you can use, and a screen more than likely with it, and a, and a keyboard, and a mouse, all that stuff saves you money. But things you're going to need to replace, 280 watt CP uh, power supply definitely not enough to power a higher end system you're going to want something that's at least 500 watts and being as that 500 watt power supplies are cheap there's no reason to go less um, power supply calculators are available online in abundance take a look around do a google search and you can do a uh, power supply calculation based on the hardware that you're interested in um, motherboard and CPU, get rid of that hard drive, you can keep this. Uh, do a fresh install of uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8, whichever you prefer, and that'll work fine. More than likely with a new motherboard, the Peta uh, optical drive will not work, and so I leave it in there just as like a filler, so there's not a hole in the top of the case, but it doesn't work so you don't need a CD drive. If you want one, you can get a DVD burner for $15 on Newegg, brand new. They're very cheap, but it's not necessary. And uh, you want to just basically get rid of all this stuff. And it comes with a fan usually back here. And uh, if your case supports it, interested, look into getting another fan for the front. This one does support it, not all do. Um, if you don't have a case like this, then perhaps you want to look into perhaps a case like this. This is a computer that I just built specifically for World of Tanks. Now the case I did happen to have just lying around and I did a little bit of painting to it to give it this black and white scheme. But it had a window on the side and had a cutout for a fan on the top. It didn't have one for the bottom, it was just a cutout for airflow to the graphics card but I mounted a fan on it anyway. Um, what I have in here is the FX8350 and water cooler. I bought it used on eBay for $180 shipped. The graphics card I happen to have laying around it is an AMD 6850. Uh, card's worth maybe 60 bucks. Um, hard drive, it's a spare hard drive. It's a 320 gigabyte from 2006 or whatever. It works fine. It loads up my data enough to hold World of Tanks. It's all it really needs is something 100 gigabytes or more. That's fine. Um, and you don't need a solid state if you're going cheap here. Uh, the motherboard I bought was a Gigabyte GA990FX UD3. That's not necessary. In fact, you only really need a 970 if you're going for a World of Tanks only computer, but this one is also for um, overclocking. But, you know, <clears throat> that motherboard will work fine. I think it was $70 for this motherboard used on eBay. I would recommend buying used parts, people. You're trying to stay cheap. That's how you do it. Because um, that FX water cooler system there would be $230, $220, brand new. Got it for $180 shipped. So, that's pretty good. The RAM I also happen to have lying around. It's 8 gigabytes, G-Skill, 1333 megahertz. Overclocked, I think, 1430 or 1450. Um, that's with the bus clock, not with multipliers or anything. I was unable to get it to boot with multiplier changes, so. CPU's overclocked to 4.7, a nice advantage of getting the water-cooled version. You can find the air-cooled version of that processor for 150 shipped. A lot of people sell those on eBay right now. A lot of people are upgrading to Haswell, or uh, Broadwell coming out soon, so, uh, You'll see a lot of these FX 8350s on the market, and you can get them for a steal. In multi-threaded performance, it equals the 4770K, and it's half the price. So, jump on those if you can. Uh, but 
I got it hooked up to an old monitor I've got. It's a Gateway. It's a 4.3 monitor running in uh, 1280 by 1024, I believe. But it's enough for me to show you uh, the game and get into the gameplay. Now, as you can see, I am loaded into World of Tanks, and I just clicked play on a battle with the T1 Cunningham. Uh, some decent matchmaking. Sometimes you get you into the higher tiers, two or tier, two or three. Um, show you the load time. And, you know, this is an old hard drive. But with 20, 27 seconds at the start, that is not bad. Not bad at all. And look at the frame rate. 61. Looking around, doing stuff. 61. So I'm basically going to try and play this game with one hand to show you guys while holding the uh, camera with the other. Which is quite difficult to do. Right hand WASD playing. But the frame rate, I don't know if you can tell, is staying about 60. And it may look jumpy to you on this camera, because I think this camera doesn't even record in 60, but um, the game, it dips down to 45 at times. I have noticed 45 is about the lowest it goes. And still, 45 is better than I know most people playing this game are at. Yeah, so, take a look at the settings. Graphics, there's the screen resolution there for you. Details, everything is maxed. Everything is maxed. Except for the motion blur effect, because I don't like that. And AA is off. But, incredible frame rate for that. And being is that this computer is only worth maybe $500, I think that's simply incredible you can achieve this kind of a frame rate for so little on such high settings. So, there it is guys. 6850. Uh, it's slightly overclocked. It is the black edition from XFX. So it does come with a slight factory overclock, but you don't need to get a factory overclock card in, over to, in order to overclock your card. You can uh, overclock it through the AMD Catalyst Control quite easily in which I would highly recommend you do that. It gives you a lot of extra performance. So there's the video. Thanks for watching. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, 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 50. 50.